Today we're going to look at the Primary Mathematics 2022 Home Instructor's Guide for Grade 5A. Hi, my name is Jennifer. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm thankful that you're here and I'm thankful for your time. On my channel, we talk about all things homeschool and I really enjoy curricula. So today we're going to talk about the Primary Mathematics Home Instructor's Guide. Now I have done a previous flip through of the Primary Mathematics 5A 2020, sorry, the Primary Mathematics 2022 5A student book additional practice book, and then mastery and beyond. And now my home instructor's guide has arrived. So we're going to do a flip through of the home instructor's guide for the primary mathematics 2022 grade 5a. I will go ahead and link the video for the flip through that I've already completed for the student pieces in the I cards as well as down below. As with all of the Singapore math programs, there is an A and a B for each level. So we are going to be looking at 5A. So this is the first section, the first portion um, of this grade level. Now, when I purchased this home instructor's guide, I did receive a code, an access code, to be able to go onto the Marshall Cavendish Education website and there is where I will download the assessments. So our tests, if we want to use the tests, there are tests for each of the individual chapters, as well as the cumulative assessments, and then also the answer key. So let's get started. So this is the home instructor's guide. So this is made for your homeschool um, parents. As you can see, they tell us that the core components of this are your student book, the mastery and beyond, and then your home instructor's guide. And then the additional practice is for um, additional instruction. You also, this also talks about the assessments, which I just mentioned that are on their website. So this shows the instructional pathway that you're going to be looking at. So for each of the chapters, you'll have a chapter opener recall, then task, learn, learn together and practice on your own. And then section B will be again, task, learn, learn together, practice on your own, performance, task, esteem, project work, chapter practice, and then the assessment, which again, you will get from the website. Here we are going over the Singapore math approach and then your phases of learning. Shows you where there are digital manipulatives. So for example, um, where this points it out, you can see on page 97 of the student book, this will show you when it is a digital manipulative. Home Instructor's Guide, we're going to have a chapter overview, the chapter as a glance, and then the teaching tips, as well as here's make it a game, additional support, and digging deeper. So let's get into it and see what we can learn. Okay. So here are our table of contents. Okay, so for chapter one, you're going to have the chapter overview which shows what the, your student should have learned in grade four. Then we're talking about whole numbers and your key ideas, as well as the materials that you will need. Then you have the chapter at a glance. It shows that they're planning on 11 days to do the chapter. So day one, day two, day three, day four, et cetera. Your learning objectives, vocabulary, resources, and then the materials that you will need. This takes you up through um, day 11, so your chapter test is day 10 and 11. So again, here's your chapter opener. So on student book, you would go to page one, which is right here. And 
Consider the picture and the questions on the page discussed with your student and prompt him or her to consider the information given in the picture and what is being asked. So then it gives you questions that you can ask as related to the picture on the page. You have your teaching tip. So recall is on pages two through four. So here's two, three, and four. So this is what is considered part of the recall. It will also tell you how to make it a game, additional support, and then digging deeper. Also, you have your answers for those pages, pages two through four, and then a teaching tip. Then on day two, you're moving into numbers to 10 million. So this says this is on student pages five to 12. So student page five, here's one A. So what this does not do, which the primary mathematics before did not do it either, but you don't have the pictures of your student book in your home instructor's guide. But it does tell you what pages to go to, and it also tells you your vocabulary, materials, learn, your focus question, teaching tips, learn together, digging deeper, and then your answers. You also have a lesson debrief on how to conclude it, questions you may want to ask as well as re um, reflect and connect. So different tips on what you want your students to do, questions that you can ask, and then what to look for. Practice on your own is student book pages 9 through 12. Think, question 8. So let's look at question 8. So in the student book, you can see that this is think, use structure. So think, here's your question eight. And for question eight, it gives you ideas of questions that you can ask your student and then additional support and then also more resources that are available. You can see this is the format throughout. So for day three, you have your lesson opener, learn your focus question and teaching tips digging deeper you also have your answers tells you what pages you're going to be looking at and then here's your activity this page helps you score yours as well as your students feedback and then for some of these activities you'll have a steam project work so let's look at one of these um, so you can kind of see what they offer for within the home instructor's guide for a steam project for this STEAM project, you can see this is the portion of your home instructor's guide. So at the end of chapter one, your students should be able to complete tasks one through four. Part three requires your student to apply his or her knowledge of place value and interpret the data. And the home instructor's guide also has an extension that you could do if you wanted to. Then days eight and nine for, are for chapter practice to review and then you have dates 10 and 11 for your chapter test. Days eight and nine are chapter practice. So this is in page 33 through 36. So you can see your page 33 in your student book. In your home instructor's guide, it gives you the question number, the level, your learning objective, what section it was in, and then what day or days you covered this based on the schedule that they have set forth. So this provides that for for all of the problems because we do problems one through 11. And then for questions 9A, 9B, 10, and 11, it gives you some extra assistance in knowing what questions to ask. Talk about does your answer make sense? And so again, these are here for your word problems. Then you have the student self-reflection. And so this is based on what the objectives are within this chapter. And then for your journal, I can show or I still wonder. So what do I still have questions about based on having finished chapter one? And then we move into chapter two and you can see it is set up the same way. Key ideas, materials you'll need. Your chapter at a glance, they are planning on 20 days for this chapter. Your chapter opener, which will also include teaching tips, make it a game, digging deeper um, for additional support. Here's 
have answers for the individual pages within the student book. Now this is for word problems on day five of 20, lesson 2C. So for word problems, let's look at page 51 and 52 within the student manual. So you can see here is your word problems. Step one is to understand uh, what, what do you need to find. And for within the home instructor's guide, it's prompt your student to think about the steps that he, she needs to take to solve the problem. And then it gives you some questions to ask. And so within plan, solve and check, it also gives you some questions that you can ask and encourage your students with. So for day 13 of 20, you're going back to your STEAM project that you had done earlier and where you were able to do task one through four. This says that at the end of chapter two, your student should be able to complete part five and six of your STEAM project. So this will be an ongoing project that would take two days to complete in chapter one and one in chapter two. So you have your self of reflection. Here is heuristics for solve. So let's go to page 91. So here is the page in the student book and you can see in your home instructor's guide, go through the four step problem solving model to guide your student to solve the problem. So it walks you through the four steps in solving this problem. Then there also is an alternative strategy and then you can look for questions one and two, which is on page 92. There's questions to ask and then also your answer in alternative and alternative strategies. At the back of the book, you do have your teacher resources. You can download the teacher resources. They're labeled like TR01, TR02. When you look at the materials that you need within the chapter overview, you can see that the materials you will need two copies of place value chart, which is TR01, one copy of number cards, TR02, and four copies of place value chart two, which is TR03 throughout this chapter. So here are your teacher resources, which again, you can download and print these off. There's also a place for notes. So I hope that this has been informative for your primary mathematics 2022 home instructors guide. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you are not subscribed yet, please do so. I appreciate your subscription. It really helps me out. I hope that you have a great day. Thanks.